So you ask the questions. So what, um, what have you made here? What's, why did you make these three blouses and what's different about them? Okay. I've been doing my research and from what I kind of guess in pictures and my knowledge, you know, I, I went in my books and, and, and did the research about the fabric, the color, uh, the texture. Of course, it was cotton, mainly cotton back in that, in that time. Color-wise, so this blouse, um, and I, I've been researching the fabrics. So the woven on this fabric, I love it, but it has a pattern which I don't think, and this is me, I don't think there was so much of a pattern back then, but I love the woven, which is a little bit more open rather than tighter. So I love the texture and the woven that is not so tight on this fabric. But I love the color of this fabric and the weight. But on this one, and I see from what I can, I can see in pictures and what I come up with, there was a lot of this uh, smocking and more of looser fit. Uh, so I came up with this idea. On this blouse, I did a version of buttons and buttonholes, but I don't know, I'm not sure if the buttonhole were a thing back then. Uh, what I know for sure, uh, the loops to secure the blouse were more, I see more of that rather than a buttonhole. I see also in pictures, there was a lot of the ruffling um, in the neckline and also at the bottom of, of the blouses. But again, these were factory women in, in, in fashion and in the history, you find more of the average, of the average. So that's why I need your help <laughs> putting your five cents in. What do you think? How do you feel about which direction you think is better? Uh, so this is number one. This is number two. This is kind of the same, but the fabric is much more modern, of course. But again, going back to the same thing, this is an armhole, more modern, and but still the fuller fit rather than the slimmer fit. So 